Hello and welcome to World on My Plate with me, Chef Harsh. Today I'm going to be taking you to the land of the free and the home of the brave. That's right, we're going to the US of A and I'm going to be showing you the most American meal of all, a juicy, cheesy burger. Okay, so the name of this particular burger is a Juicy Lucy and it originated in Minnesota, USA. So the first thing that we need to do is make our mixture with the chicken. Okay, we're gonna add in about one to two teaspoons of salt. Next, we're gonna add some black pepper, followed by some smoked paprika, some garlic powder. And finally, we're gonna add in some breadcrumbs, and this is gonna help us to bind the mixture and make sure that it holds its shape. Okay, so we just wanna mix this up really, really nicely. Make sure everything is well incorporated. Okay, so our chicken mixture is ready, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little portion of it for our burger. Okay, and we're gonna make a couple of patties, okay, because we need one on the bottom and one on the top. So divide this into two, and just roll it in your hands nicely. Okay, so you wanna roll it, or you wanna flatten it out, I should say, quite thin, okay, because once the cheese goes on to the, in the middle of this, we are gonna form it again, and we're gonna re-roll it and re-flatten it, so it doesn't really matter for now, okay? Okay, so now both of our patties are done. Now it's for the exciting part of this recipe. We're gonna take our cheese. Okay, this is just regular sliced cheese. All we have to do with the cheese is fold it in half once, and then fold it in half again. Okay, so now you have a nice stack of cheese place it on our patty, and we're gonna cover that with our second patty. Okay, now you wanna push it down, make sure that the cheese is fully covered and there's no extra gaps anywhere. Now we can take the whole thing and just start shaping it again. So our patty is ready to go. I'm gonna set that back down. Okay, so our pan is heating up, and now we're gonna add some olive oil. Just about a teaspoon and a half. Okay, so our oil is super hot right now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our patty, and we're just gonna place it right in the center. Okay, so the burger looks great already. It smells really good and we're ready to flip it over to the other side. It's been cooking for about two to three minutes. Okay, so our patty is completely cooked and it's looking amazing on both sides. It's got nice grill marks. It's got a good char on it. So I'm gonna just put that on the back and let it rest for about five to six minutes. Let the juices settle back into the burger. And in the meantime, what we're gonna do is we're gonna butter and toast our buns, okay? So we have here two halves of a regular burger bun. Now I kept my butter out earlier so that it gets soft at room temperature. Okay, so our buns are nicely buttered and we're gonna put them on a hot pan on about a medium heat. And we are just gonna get them nice and toasted. All right, our buns have been toasted beautifully now. And now we're gonna assemble our burger, okay? This is the most exciting bit that we can do. So first on the bottom half of the burger, we are gonna put some mayonnaise. And we're gonna top that with some nice fresh lettuce. Next, we're gonna add in another slice of cheese because why not? And now we're gonna add in our burger patty. It's nice and big, very, very warm. And finally, we're gonna add in a couple of slices of tomatoes. And all you have to do now is top our burger. So here you have it, guys. This beautiful Chicken Juicy Lucy is done. You can see how high it is, how thick it is. It is a beautifully large burger. So I'm gonna use this toothpick just to hold it in place so it doesn't fall. There you go, guys. This is one giant burger. 
So here you have it guys, America on my plate. Here's my version of this beautiful Chicken Juicy Lucy. And I've paired it with some tater tots and some ketchup. And now for the moment of truth, fingers crossed, let's see if we get a nice gooey center. There you go, guys. A cheese-filled burger. It looks absolutely delicious. And before I take a bite and get really messy, I'm just gonna tell you guys to please like and follow Times Now Foodie on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well.